finally made it out to Ralston and I'm gonna get outside and have a look at the show shortly. But first, I need to open this package that came for me yesterday. In the rush to get pick up the aircraft and get everything organized, I completely forgot that I'd chuck this in my bag. So, looking forward to opening this. We have brand new Richard of Oz shirts. How good is that? So I'll chuck one of these on and uh, get out and show you guys around Austin. I'm here with Rob, who's the man behind Ralston, so I thought rather than me try and explain uh, what Ralston is and how it all started, I'll hand over to Rob and he can tell you all about it. Ralston Aerodrome was uh, uh, set up immediately after World War II, and it became quite active after that uh, period of time with the uh, return of uh, air servicemen um, who had trained and um, um, having spent a lot of time back and forth in the United States and seeing the air parks uh, that were growing over there, uh, I put together the idea that um, with pressure on the residential uh, on the residential expansion in Sydney and pressure on Sydney aerodromes, that um, a lot of people would enjoy having a uh, an aviation uh, place in the country, and so I created. Um, this air park. One thing's led to another and uh, people have come along and seen what I'm doing and um, uh, they've decided to buy into the air park here and it's become a very very uh, sought after community now. We decided to create this annual uh, Ralston celebration of aviation um, and it's totally non-commercial. It's all about the promotion of aviation and creating and, and, and expanding the spirit of aviation. So but the Ryerson Celebration of Aviation this year has just been an outstanding um, experience. Um, so well patronised, so many aircraft flew in, uh, something in excess of 160, 70 aeroplanes, uh, over 2,000 people. All in all, it's just been a fantastic weekend. Um, the, uh, the weather gods were very gracious uh, and gave us, just turned on magnificent uh, weather for us. And um, all in all, it's been a splendid, wonderful weekend uh, of great aviation.
Morning guys, a beautiful day out here at Ralston, apart from being really cold this morning and I know my US friends are going to be having a laugh saying that's not that cold but it's cold for an Aussie so it'll be interesting later in the year uh, when it comes into winter in the US I think I might struggle a little bit so I had a great night last night sitting around the fire talking to all the locals and uh, some of the pilots that flew in from uh, around the country it really is uh, an amazing atmosphere out here at Ralston everyone's uh, super friendly um, it's a really nice spot it's easy to get in and out of and it's actually not uh, not too far so if you have the chance definitely come out here next year and check it out camp next to your plane you might freeze overnight but apart from that it's uh, it's fantastic just waiting for the last of this fog to burn off and gonna go up for a fly and hopefully get some airborne shots, show you what uh, Ralston looks like from the air and then pack the plane and head back to Newcastle.